Hello everybody. Our next camera is a Nikon FM. Um, like a lot of these, the model number is on the back. It's nowhere on the front. It was the first of the Nikormat. Nikormat? It's got two Ks. I'm not sure. Uh, replacements. Kind of a prosumer level camera. This was the one that introduced the Duralumin aluminum and copper alloy chassis. The same that the uh, FE used. It's fully mechanical um, with a meter and it uses two LR44 or SR44, the one and a half volt batteries. It uses a center, the LED system in the right where it's got a plus, minus, and a circle in the middle and then LEDs up and down. If it's in the middle, you're spot on. If it's below, I believe it's a stop under, stop over. And then if the middle and the lower are your half stop under, I believe that's how that works. It's interesting that this one is older, but it uses uh, the Chase the LED and the later FE, which had the electromechanical shutter, uses a Chase the Needle system. The winder standoff on this is the metering switch. It has a little red dot for a reminder. Which is nice, so if it's kicking around uh, in your bag or something, as long as you've got the winder all the way in, it locks the meter. It doesn't lock the shutter. Um, so it's not going to drain your batteries. Another interlock that it has, you know, you open the back by pulling up on the rewind knob, like a lot of cameras, but it has this uh, little lock here, so it's not going to pop open accidentally. Get it open. It has a titanium vertically traveling shutter. It goes from one second to a thousandth of a second plus bulb. It flash syncs um, at one one hundred twenty fifth of a second. It has a hot shoe and it also has a PC sync cord socket here. Like the FE, this can use uh, pre AI lenses. You just have to move the the meter coupling lever, like on the FE. There's a tiny little button right here that's the lock and then you can slide that lever up out of the way and then you just flip it down if you're using an AI lens. Sorry, the cat just hit the camera that's filming this. Um, it shows the f-stop in the viewfinder uses the kind of mirror snorkel, I believe it's aperture direct readout in Nikon speak, reads the little numbers directly off the top of the lens, and then through a mirror shows them to you in the viewfinder. And then down the left side, the photographer's left, um, it shows you your selected shutter speed. This one has a fixed focus screen, but they put in the K-type screen, which is really nice because the K-type has the split image in the middle and then the micro prism around it and then the matte field and the rest of it. It can do multiple exposures. You wind and shoot then you hold this little button towards the pentaprism and you wind again and it cocks the shutter without advancing the film. You can do an arbitrary number of multiple exposures. However many you want it'll just keep doing it. If you're using a pre-AI lens or a bellows extension, something that doesn't couple, it does have a stop-down lever here. You just press this in back towards the body. It's just uh, next to the self-timer. I believe the self-timer is 10 seconds. I can't remember exactly. This would take uh, the MD-11 or the M MD-12 motor drive. Uh, it's got the contacts here and then the actual motor interface for moving the film right here. You can tell that this camera is pre-1979 because it has this ring around the shutter button with a red mark. You move it over there, you're using the motor winder, and if you move it back to the black mark, you're doing manual wind. Later versions of this had some method of detecting that the motor uh, drive was attached, so you didn't need to have this part. The lens that's on it is a Nikkor uh, 50mm f2. It's kind of interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen a Nikon 50mm lens 
that's F2. The E series, F1.8, they're everywhere. It's kind of Nikon's nifty 50. I've got some F1.4s, but I don't think I'd ever seen an F2 lens. It's a sweet lens, though, I gotta say. So it's a pretty complete kit. Got a nice rubber shade that fits the 50 millimeter. Uh, came with a Nikon SBE speed light. Sadly, this doesn't work. I think it was stored with the batteries in it. It had a pretty crudded up uh, battery compartment. The other lens that's with this kit is a Tokina. It's a 28 to 70 millimeter um, f2.8. It seems to be a really nice lens. Um, it also does macro, the cap back on there. So there's 28 and then you move it over when you're zooming and then there's kind of a click stop with this white line showing you uh, that you're at 70 millimeters. And then if you keep going, it goes into macro mode. I don't know the exact magnification on this thing. There were a lot of variants uh, from Tokina about this uh, vintage of lens, but it's pretty sweet. You know, to have the 2870 zoom range in an f2.8 is really nice. So it's a pretty pretty good lens. Some of the some of the shots I got were with that lens. Um, this was a borrowed camera, and I need to get it back to its owner. So thank you very much, Bob. Bob's one of my climbing buddies. Um, I had a blast shooting with it. But I'm on to more cameras that I shot slide film in. So I'll see you then.